Yo, what up, fellow gym goers? It's your boy, Lord Earl here. Bringing it back with another video. <laughs> uh, first one in a long while, eh? Or, um, hey, we fell off, what can I say? But, we're back better than ever. I'm fucking massive now. Uh, keeping it fresh. And, uh, yeah. So basically, I've just lived in the gym for um, the last year of my life. And I've come to share whatever I've learned with you today, because knowledge. Anyways. <laughs> Wait the fuck. I'm not used to this. Um, here are my top five tips on lifting and gaining muscle type shit. And <laughs> right, first video getting cancelled already. Hell yeah. Anyways, um, tread. <laughs> no, not really. Not really. Not really. Well, maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit tread. Um, compound exercises. Yes, they're good. You should do them. <laughs> you should you should do compound exercises. No one's ever no one's ever said this before, but um No, I like to do I like to do deadlifts and I like to do um bench and you know dips and shit like that. And that, you know Bench, chest, triceps, little bit of shoulder if you've got poor technique like me. Um Dips, you're doing, you're doing shoulder, you're doing triceps, you're doing the lovely chest. Deadlift, back and legs, I mean, you gotta hit it all, you know. I like lifting heavy as well, like not, not, um... Well, it, it depends, actually. My, my thing is I do push-pull legs, and I'll do that hypertrophy, so like 13 to like 18 reps, and then I'll do... Push pull legs strength where I do like five reps or something. And then if I need an extra rest day, I'll just skip one of the leg sessions because, you know, fuck, fuck legs. Fuck legs. We don't need them here. Um, yeah, and that's been working really well for me. I, I've fucking doubled in size. I'm massive. Ah! <coughs> I'll take my shirt off once I once I lose my belly. But one thing I cannot give you advice on is uh, losing the belly. It's it's here forever. It's not going. I've got that Mike Tyson type body. On that Mike Tyson, no, not Mike Tyson. Um, Tyson Fury type shit. Yeah, gang. Um, yeah, I like push pull legs. One thing I've noticed is you only really need. One year in the gym before people are like, "Hey, do you do you lift?" Like you don't even have to get that big. It's like, it's just there. Yeah, you, you you get, you get that base layer, and people are like, "Oh shit, you were you you built different, aren't you?" And you're like, "Yeah, yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck yeah, I'm built different." <laughs> but yeah, and then uh, if you want to get bigger than that. Hop on some trend. <laughs> um, no, uh, other other point. Not gonna lie, I, I I've eaten like shit for like the last year, two two years even. Like, yeah. I just call it dirty bulking. It like generally is dirty as fuck. Very dirty. So much chocolate and oh my god, I've i fucked my fucked my gut up. It doesn't like me. I burp a lot. Um, trying to fix that now, though, because I need to lose that belly for um, summer. Summer shred. Summer shred inbound. And last... Uh, not lastly. Um, another thing. You kind of want to know what sort of look you want for when you're going to hit the gym. Like for me... I do a lot of wrestling and a little bit of kickboxing, 
So at first I was like, I don't really want to get big. But then the big shits came along. <laughs> and um, now I'm trying to trying to do a bit of both. I need I, wrestling's the main thing. I need to I need to stay in wrestling shape. But then also need to get some aesthetic. I don't know. Can I even say that word? Aesthetic. Aesthetic. I can't say the word. Um, yeah. Let's start, let's start with some uh, some clout, clout clout appearance. Recommend it. Get big. And yeah, uh, uh, I've I've had a few mates say like, "Wow, your your transformation is inspirational. I want to also hit the gym now." <laughs> and then they'll go for like a month, and they'll be like. Oh, I haven't been in a week. What the fuck are you doing, like? And then they're like, well, I can't get motivated. So, if you want to get motivated to go to the gym, I have top tier tips. Top tier. So, first of all, find, find a loser in your life. Do you work with them? Is he a friend? Just find... Biggest fucking loser, you know? The guy who fucking jerks off to anime. Um, probably has a dead end job. No bitches. Still a virgin. 28, 30. <laughs> no, 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 no not, not relatable. Not, re no, not relatable. Um, yeah, just find, find that guy that you want to be nothing like. And then you go. I don't know, you finish work, you're, you're feeling tired, you're feeling a bit shit. And you're like, oh, I can't really be bothered to go to the gym today. And then you tell yourself, what would he do? What would that fucking loser do um, uh, if he was in your position? Um, in my case, bless him, Josh... I found this guy, Josh, and I'm like, I want to be absolutely nothing like this kid. I hate you. He's, he's all right to talk to, but he's a fucking loser. So, I found this guy. I'm like, I finish work. I'm like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym. And then I thought in my mind, what would Josh do right now? He would go home, watch some anime and jerk off to hentai. That's exactly what I'd do. So, you know what I did? I'm like, yeah, there's no way this guy's going to the fucking gym when he finishes work and he's this tired. It's fucking 8 o'clock at night. I'll start work in the morning. I'm going to the gym. <laughs> so I forced myself. I like, I fucking... Every, every day, uh, well... Yeah, basically every day. Except, you know, except for, like, Sunday. That's my rest day. I'd finish work at 8... I'd force myself to go to the gym afterwards, just being like, I want to be nothing like this kid. You know, I stopped watching anime. I stopped, stopped jerking off. Stopped doing anything that Josh would do. I need to be the opposite of that guy, and I will become very powerful. For real. And yeah, um, after like three months of doing that. I think that's the point when the habit kicks in and you're like, you're like, oh, I finished work. I can't wait to go to the gym. Yahoo. And that's how you, you get going to it. Like, I'm pretty sure I've read it takes 90 days to build or break a habit. And that's about right in my experience. I, at this point, I, I don't even think about it. I'm like, yeah, I've got, I got a few things to do today, but, you know, a gym is always one of them. That's probably not going to change. you got to go to the gym. Or what are you doing, really? And, yeah. So find someone you don't want to be like. There's also, like, other things, like... You could, you could picture, like, the best you, and he's, like, your enemy, and you have to... You have to beat him, or, or try to match him every day to, to call it a win. Which, that's alright, but... I found it more painful to look at Josh 
and be like, do I want my life to be anything like his? And the answer was always no. So that's how I changed and started lifting. And I mean, I'm getting pretty big. Like I'm getting like boulder shoulders now. Like, oh damn, look at that tricep. When I started, I didn't even have a tricep. I swear to God, it was completely flat. And I'd be like doing press downs and I'd, I'd like look and try to feel and there'd, there'd just be nothing there. Like I didn't, I didn't have a tricep. And I'd, I'd be like, put my finger there while pushing it down. And like, I wouldn't feel anything. I'm like, yo, do I just not have a tricep? <laughs> but hey, after like a year, it just appeared. So pretty cool. It also took a year, like when I started tricep, and I'm just rambling now. When I started doing tricep pushdowns, I was literally on zero weight. Like I couldn't do, I couldn't do the first weight. I think it's like 5kg. Couldn't do it. I just had to pull the rope down with no weight attached to it. Um, triceps probably one of my weaker body points. But like, what, what, what I'm saying is, I didn't go up any weight, or maybe like one, one or two weight in the first year. Like, yeah, end of year one, I think I was doing the press downs on like 10 kg at best. So I suppose it just took that long to build like a base tricep. And then like from there, it took like another four months and I literally skipped, I mean not skipped, but like I went down another three weights in like three a month. So I think I'm on like 5, 10, 15, 20, about 20 or 25 kg now, just doing like 13 reps. So I mean, progress is like super slow, and then it just went shot up, and then I don't know anymore. I'm, hope I'm hoping the progress still goes, it's like, fuck, look at that, look at that little boy there. Wow. Um, yeah, and if, if you do, if you need more motivation to go to the gym, you can always fall in love and have her break your heart. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that, that's the best way. If, if you're going to the gym, but you're like, you need a bit more, bit more push, just fall in love, bro. Just fall in love. Have her break your heart. You know? She was fucking mid. She was fucking mid, bro. <laughs> Why'd she do this to me? <laughs> oh, man. Life's tough, eh? <laughs> Big kick. Right, um, yeah, that's all the tips and tricks and rambling I'm gonna do today. Decent video. Um, if, if, you, if you wanna keep following this fucking autistic dude. I'm not actually autistic, I'm just a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> then you can like and subscribe, I guess. Or... Do what you want. I don't, I don't really care. Um, gang shift. Uh, have a good day or something. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <sighs>